day 80. It has been an interesting few days. Physically, I still feel great. Um, yeah, the juicing is easy. Love the juices. Body's great. Um, energy's great. Um, what I've noticed at the moment is there's a lot of energy moving. Um, I don't pretend to fully understand the astrology, so please do not take my word on the specifics of what's going on. But from what I understand and what I can feel, there's two, di two different parts. So from what I understand, like we're in the full moon within the eclipse portal. So there's twice a year where the full moons occur during the eclipse portal, which makes them even more potent. And this full moon is in Scorpio, which is the underworld, the unseen, death and rebirth. And so what I've noticed the last few days, like my energy is feeling really like I'm seeing a lot of stuff, seeing people's stories, people's bullshit, watching these energies play out, watching things that are hidden come to the surface to be seen and I've been triggered I have seen my triggers and sat with them and I'm still in some of them I'm still feeling triggered um, and just very interesting to try to be more the observer than getting pulled in to other people's drama and their stories which is really hard, especially when you're triggered. Um, and tomorrow I'm actually going into ceremony. So uh, I've got a um, almost a full day of ceremony tomorrow, which is going to be really big. I'm very excited um, to see what comes from that. A little bit nervous, but um, mostly excited. Um, so yeah, I can feel, um, there's going to be a big shift in the next few days. Um, but yeah, in terms of the cleanse and the juicing, amazing, still amazing. But now we kind of get into the deeper layers of things. Um, and one thing that I've noticed with, the juicing is my clarity. I can see things very clearly. I can, I can feel people's energy. I can feel what they're working with. And I can see through the stories that they tell themselves and tell others and tell me. And there's that part of me that wants to fix wants to teach, wants to correct, wants to judge. Um, and I can feel that part of me that wants to control other people's processes and what they're working with. And so I feel like that part of myself is stepping forward to be, to be seen, to be acknowledged so that I can let go and just become the observer and honor honor people's processes, honor their journey. And it's, it's interesting working out where my, where my journey intertwines, where my, my truth is to be spoken, where I am to step back, where I'm to observe, where I'm to walk away. Um, it's very interesting to kind of um, observe all those elements. And ultimately I do trust that things that are meant to happen are going to happen anyway. So very reflective time at the moment. It's been the last, the last two days, I think. So the full moon, the three day window is, um, today, tomorrow and, and Sunday in Australia. Um, but it, it lasts, the eclipse portal lasts for a lot longer than that. I think it's a couple of weeks in total. So yeah, if you know if you're starting to notice things, if things are coming to the surface, um, if your awareness is on fire, 
that could be why. <laughs> but only 10 days to go, 10 days to go on the cleanse. Um, yeah, I'm actually feeling um, excited, a um, little bit sad, a bit um, nervous. Um, feeling all the emotions about finishing the 90 days or reaching the 90 days because I don't even know when I get there if I will finish then. I know I will continue juicing but in what capacity um, and when I do not know. But yes it's uh, there's definitely a lot going on at the moment. Anyway, I hope everyone has a great weekend and I will see you on the flip side of my ceremony tomorrow. <laughs>